Welcome to the audio edition of St. Giles in the Word for November 20th. Our readings today come from the New International Version, and we are reading from Matthew 18 and Numbers 4. We begin in Matthew. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the little child to him and placed the child among them. And he said, Truly I tell you, Unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. If anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large millstone hung around their neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe to the world because of the things that cause people to stumble. Such things must come, but woe to the person through whom they come. If your hand or your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life maimed or crippled than to have two hands or two feet and be thrown into eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into the fire of hell. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hills and go to look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he is happier about that one sheep than about the ninety-nine that did not wander off. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should perish. If your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. But if they will not listen, take one or two others along so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If they still refuse to listen, tell it to the church. And if they refuse to listen even to the church, treat them as you would a pagan or a tax collector. Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him ten thousand bags of gold was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. At this, the servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. But when that servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred silver coins. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay it back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were outraged and went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I canceled all that debt of yours because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. This is how my heavenly Father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. We turn now to the book of Numbers. The 
The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Take a census of the Kohathite branch of the Levites by their clans and families. Count all the men from 30 to 50 years of age who come to serve in the work at the tent of meeting. This is the work of the Kohathites at the tent of meeting, the care of the most holy things. When the camp is to move, Aaron and his sons are to go in and take down the shielding curtain and put it over the Ark of the Covenant Law. Then they are to cover the curtain with a durable leather, spread a cloth of solid blue over that, and put the poles in place. Over the table of the presence they are to spread a blue cloth and put it on the plates, dishes, and bowls, and the jars for drink offerings. The bread that is continually there is to remain on it. They are to spread a scarlet cloth over them, cover that with the durable leather, and put the poles in place. They are to take a blue cloth and cover the lampstand that is for light, together with its lamps, its wick trimmers and trays, and all its jars for the olive oil used to supply it. Then they are to wrap it and all its accessories in a covering of the durable leather and put it on a carrying frame. Over the gold altar they are to spread a blue cloth and cover that with the durable leather and put the poles in place. They are to take all the articles used for ministering in the sanctuary, wrap them in a blue cloth, cover that with the durable leather, and put them on a carrying frame. They are to remove the ashes from the bronze altar and spread a purple cloth over it. Then they are to place it place on it all the utensils used for ministering at the altar, including the fire pans, meat forks, shovels, and sprinkling bowls. Over it they are to spread a covering of the durable leather and put the poles in place. After Aaron and his sons have finished covering the holy furnishings and all the holy articles, and when the camp is ready to move, only then are the Kohathites to come and do the carrying. But they must not touch the holy things or they will die. The Kohathites are to carry those things that are in the tent of meeting. Eleazar, son of Aaron the priest, is to have charge of the oil for the light, the fragrant incense, the regular grain offering, and the anointing oil. He is to be in charge of the entire tabernacle and everything in it, including its holy furnishings and articles. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, See that the Goethite tribal clans are not destroyed from among the Levites, so that they may live and not die when they come near the most holy things. Do this for them. Aaron and his sons are to go into the sanctuary and assign to each man his work and what he is to carry. But the Kohathites must not go in to look at the holy things even for a moment, or they will die. The Lord said to Moses, Take a census also of the Gershonites by their families and clans. Count all the men from thirty to fifty years of age who come to serve in the work at the tent of meeting. This is the service of the Gershonite clans in their carrying and their other work. They are to carry the curtains of the tabernacle, that is, the tent of meeting, its covering and its outer covering of durable leather, the curtains for the entrance to the tent of meeting, the curtains of the courtyard surrounding the tabernacle and altar, the curtain for the entrance to the courtyard, the ropes and all the equipment used in the service of the tent, The Gershonites are to do all that needs to be done with these things. All their service, whether carrying or doing other work, is to be done under the direction of Aaron and his sons. You shall assign to them as their responsibility all they are to carry. This is the service of the Gershonite clans at the tent of meeting. Their duties are to be under the direction of Ithamar, son of Aaron the priest. Count the Merorites by their clans and families. Count all the men from thirty to fifty years of age who come to serve in the work at the tent of meeting. As part of all their service at the tent, they are to carry the frames of the tabernacle, its crossbars, posts, and bases, as well as the posts of the surrounding courtyard with their bases, tent pegs, ropes, all their equipment, and everything related to their use. Assign to each man the specific things he is to carry, This is the service of the Merorite clans as they work at the tent of meeting under the direction of Ithamar, son of Aaron the priest. Moses, Aaron, and the leaders of the community counted the Kohathites by their clans and families. 
all the men from 30 to 50 years of age who came to serve in the work at the tent of meeting. Counted by clans were 2,750. This was the total of all those in the Kohathite clans who served at the tent of meeting. Moses and Darren counted them according to the Lord's command through Moses. The Gershonites were counted by their clans and families, all the men from 30 to 50 years of age who came to serve in the work at the tent of meeting, counted by their clans and families, were 2,630. This was the total of those in the Gershonite clans who served at the tent of meeting. Moses and Darren counted them according to the Lord's command. The Murrahites were counted by their clans and families, all the men from 30 to 50 years of age who came to serve in the work at the tent of meeting, counted by their clans, were 3,200. This was the total of those in the Murrahite clans. Moses and Aaron counted them according to the Lord's command through Moses. So Moses, Aaron, and the leaders of Israel counted all the Levites by their clans and families, all the men from 30 to 50 years of age who came to do the work of serving and carrying the tent of meeting numbered 8,580. At the Lord's command through Moses, each was assigned his work and told what to carry. Thus they were counted as the Lord commanded Moses. Here ends our reading for today.